Hey everyone, so it's me Hope and today I have a February favorites video for you guys So I've limited myself to just a few things to show you guys because if I showed you everything that I liked over February Then it would be a 30 minute long video and I don't think you guys would appreciate that So let's get started The first thing which is definitely my favorite thing was my Naked 2 palette And I love this so much Um, I bought this probably at the end of January and I used it for almost every single day of February and yeah the only problem I have with this was um, when I first got it as you guys saw um, two of the pants fell out the colors blackout and busted they both decided that they wanted to leave their pan and yeah so I'm just a little upset that I paid $50 for an eyeshadow palette that had its pants fall out other than that my favorite colors were foxy Booty Call and Suspect. And I know they have super weird names, but yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is just a single eyeshadow. And this is my MAC eyeshadow in Era. And this was the first MAC eyeshadow that I ever got. And I got this in December. And I really like this color. <laughs> it's not like one of the super known colors from MAC. So I thought it was a really pretty color and I got it and I've been using it almost every day in my crease and I really really like it. It has a satin finish and it's a lot darker on the camera than it really is but yeah. So I have another eyeshadow for you guys. This is a cream eyeshadow and I seriously got this like six days ago and I used it every single day since I got it and I love it so much. This is the Maybelline 24 hour color. Tattoo metal thing that has so many words in it. I don't even know how to what it's called. It's in the color barely branded and This is such a pretty color and I love it so much Watching other beauty gurus their reviews on this it does compare to the Mac um, Paint pots so that's pretty good and I love this color so much and I have another one in bed to the bronze But I haven't used that one yet so I can't wait to start using that one, so yeah. Next are my lip products, and I love buying new lip products, like testing out a bunch of things. So my aunt just gives me some makeup that she doesn't ever use, like she used like not even once or once, and these two things came from a Sephora Beauty Insider thing as a free gift, and she gave them to me because she didn't use them. These are the Sugar Lip Balms, and they have SPF 15, and they are the sample sizes. I love like the taste of it, it's, it's like a lemony taste to it, and it's super moisturizing and I love it so much. And these are like $22 for a big one on Sephora, so I don't know if I'm going to buy one in the future, because $22 for a chapstick. Yeah, no matter how great they are, I don't know if I'll spend that much. Next, I have my Maybelline Baby Lips, and this is in the peppermint one, and this one's just a clear one. And I love peppermint chapsticks, like, a lot. So this one I used up all the way, like, it doesn't twist up anymore. This is just the plastic part. I had to, like, dip my finger in it to use it, uh, because if I put it on my lips, then just the plastic part will, like, scrape my lips. And I love all of the baby lips, like, I have, like, Four of them I think so I really like them and they're only like four dollars like $3.99 so go to like Walmart or somewhere and pick one up because I love them next this is limited edition so you can't get this anymore I got this in November I think this is the EOS Alice in Wonderland sweet vanilla nonsense uh, EOS and this one is probably my most used EOS I have seven of the EOS's and the vanilla one I definitely use by far the most. The flavor's good, it's not like super powerful or strong or anything and yeah it's really moisturizing like all of the EOS's. They all have the same formula and everything basically but it all just comes down to flavor when it's like your favorite one. And I like this one the best. It just happens to get really dirty really easily because the EOS is like to get very dirty and if it's white it's obviously going to get dirtier. <laughs> so for a perfume my favorite would have to be Forever Red and I talked about this on my Bath and Body Works collection. 
And I love how like the packaging on it is a lot different than all the other ones. It just makes it prettier and cooler and I like it better. This one would never beat my love for um, Vanilla Bean Noel, but it comes in a very close second. <laughs> this is probably my most used perfume of the month. Speaking of Vanilla Bean Noel, I just ran out of this Vanilla Bean Noel soap, and this is another one of my favorites. I was using it all of this month until I ran out, and we get to, we got Caribbean Escape, which is like my third favorite scent. So yeah, so I love this, and you can't get this anymore until like next Christmas though, because it's a Christmas scent, so I'm really sad about that. And lastly, as I was just talking about Caribbean Escape, my favorite sanitizer of this month would have to be Caribbean Escape. And I used like it all up, so yeah. But I love it so much. And all three of these are seriously my most favorite Bath and Body Works scents. So those were my February favorites. Um, I have a lot more, but I just didn't want to show you guys everything. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Remember to follow my Instagram, Hope2190. Um, I'm almost at 900 subs. Subscribers. I'm almost at 900 followers. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already because at 3,000 subscribers, that's a room tour. And I just really want to get that video over with because you guys have asked for it and I just really want to do that video. So yeah, so I'm really close actually. So I will talk to you guys later. 